Hi, I'm Alison Wemmel. I play the bassoon and I like riding bikes. I've been playing the bassoon since I was about eight and riding bikes since before then. I remember learning how to ride a bike with my mum at the local park and I wouldn't get my training wheels or stabilizers off because I was too scared, but then I saw my sister ride across the oval on the grass and I really wanted to do that and mum said, you can only do that if you take off your training wheels. Uh, and that's where we started. I'm currently living in London, studying a Master of Performance at the Royal College of Music. Cycling's really important for me in London because it's such an accessible way to get out of the city. Um, I'm not a city person at all and I grew up doing a lot of hiking and I just love that I can get on my bike and I can get out of the city and onto the bridleways and just see all the greenery and so many new things that just aren't there in London. From December through to February this year I was actually living alone in my house in London and a lot of the time I would just take my bike out and I would choose a place to ride, look at the OS maps, map somewhere that I'd never been before and I'd go out. And that was such a wonderful therapeutic thing. I could talk to people on the trails, um, I could just see new things and then that with bassoon as well, like I was playing and even though I wasn't playing with anyone else, um, it was just a wonderful opportunity of 10 weeks of no classes, um, no nothing, just to really explore what I wanted to say um, as a soloist and think about what new things I could be doing without any judgement from anyone else because I was, I was alone and no one could even hear me practice. So I think the solos project, you know, as a series, is so much about what do the artists, who are they personally, be it as musicians, artists, you know, creators in general, and um, I mean bassoon playing is a huge part of my identity, but also um, I think being a cyclist increasingly, um, you know, when I go to school and people ask what I've been doing, for the last few years I've just said, well, I've been riding my bike. And so, um, you know, doing a personal project, it was just so logical to have, to marry these two things together, especially because they're both ways of sort of getting outside of yourself, um, and they both present challenges that link. The routes that I chose are just ones that I really like. They're just ones when I, when I don't really want to think too hard about where I'm going. Um, Ricelip Woods is lovely because you know you just go out, you whip out along Ricelip Road and then you're in this lovely hilly um, area with different trails and lots of views. It's just really accessible. Um, if I want I can get there on a canal path. Um, you know it's great. And then the Surrey Hills, I ride a lot with my friend Leslie. She's shown me all around that area which I didn't know at all and so it's lovely to have a route there because it is an area that is really close to my heart. My ride down to Brighton is actually related to the work that I'm performing there. So Salamander was written by Zoe Martlu and she lives in East Sussex and so and it's all about the sea and I really wanted to um, to play by the sea because it's it's imbued in her music. Um, and then my last cycle is a cycle that I do pretty much every day which is to college. Uh, and I think that you can you can look at you know going outside and getting out of London um, as an escape, but I mean all those rides are 50k plus. Um, whereas to college it's like about an 18k round trip, but it's still such an escape to go to a different building and make music with other people and um, just see faces of people that you know. I chose 21st Century Repertoire because I find it really interesting. A lot of solo bassoon music that is accessible I think is more modern. Um, all of these pieces tell a story and um, especially because this project is about um, bassoon and cycling we're gonna hopefully get people who are not so big on the Western art music world and um, I mean Water Spirit Song by Ross Edwards I first played when I was 16 um, and I play it so differently now so it's lovely as an artist to be able to you know, feel I've developed, but it, it really, I think it's really evocative of, um, you know, the waterways, and it's Australian, so personally I can hear a lot of Australia, but I think you can imagine a lot with it. Um, and similarly with Ulpira, which is the other work I'm playing by Australian composer Ross Edwards, uh, it's such a celebration 
you know, it's so full of life and, um, you know, and bird song and such like. And um, that one I'll be playing in Ricelip Woods because I think it's just, you know, so joyful to be out. And the reason why I wanted to play November 22 by Kin and Asma is because I think it's incredibly atmospheric. November 22 is about homesickness and remembering the last time that you were in a place. I think this is something that a lot of us, especially Australians, actually can identify with at the moment. It's really hard if you're in a different place to get back home to see the people you love and even if we're not homesick for home because we are at home, we're homesick for familiar things and um, friends and family and you know, the things that are home that are not just about place. I think, you know, so much of this project is a response to COVID and this feeling of being restricted and being stuck in one place. But also, its use of loop pedals is completely new to me and it's just, I'm really excited about it. It's tricky, but it's just, you know, I think it's an interesting way of marrying concepts that we're used to in popular music and then also bassoon playing. Yeah, it's really cool to be able to talk to the composers. It's so cool. I spent so much time playing like Mozart and Beethoven and they are all dead. <laughs> um, so it's been really nice and especially Zoe, she's been great to talk to because, um, you know, she just lives, she lives down the road um, in a way and um, knowing that this music is written about places and events that I'm familiar with because they're living composers and that we can discuss and we can talk about, you know, not only what these pieces mean to me, but what they mean to the composer. Um, yeah, it's just so exciting. It becomes a very different kind of collaboration to um, playing music by dead composers. I'm glad I get to play these pieces for you and share these cycles that I do and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope you are too.